Hi, so what I wanted to do was a walkthrough of using the, the pip install with a requirements file. And so what we'll do is um, I'll open up SageMaker and show how we can um, use that file to import the modules that we want. I'm in SageMaker now. So this is the dashboard that you've seen before. Let me come over here to notebooks, notebook instances. I've got two um, running here, and I'm open up this one in Jupyter Lab. This is going to open the familiar Jupyter interface. It, I mean, it, it looks like Jupyter Lab. So we'll let that go. Great. We have a lot of options. We can open terminal, uh, text file. I'm going to open up Python 3. So this is a straight, normal Python 3 notebook. Um, we can do anything we would do normally in Python. I'm, if I hit the plus sign here, I'm going to come down here to text file. And I'm just going to type in Welly. That's the um, module that we have talked about using. Um, right click to rename. Requirements. Requirements is just a convention. It can be whatever you want. All right. So back in my IPy notebook, um, I'll do exclamation point to switch from running Python to running Bash. Dash R for read. Requirements dot txt. Now I want to execute that cell. It's going to go to the requirements folder. It's going to, here it's going to open that and install it. Now I can import Welly, and it's there. Uh, we can also include other things like Python GeoIO, save. We can run this again. Um, so it went through, and it looks like it's already installed. Um, there we go. The other thing that I can do is I can do a tag here after pip. Um, so the pip minus q is quiet. And now when I run it, it won't show me the output. Um, it will just suppress that, so it's a little bit cleaner. So the, the two things that people would need to be able to use this would be this command that they can run at the top of their notebooks and a requirements file. Right? And then we would just list out anything we need here. Um, fuzzy Wuzzy is a uh, NLP tool for fuzzy matching. Right? So I can add those, run it. Um, it's going to import everything, and those are all now available to me. Uh, is that how it works? Nope, can't minus that. It's just, there we go, GUIO. All right. If I import something else here, um, Doing pip install. Um, let's do plotly. Okay. Now I can save any changes to this environment. Exclamation point pip freeze. Um, little greater than sign. Let's do rex.txt. You see it creates a new folder for me over here. This is going to have a lot of stuff in it. Since we opened up this um, Python 3 environment, it came with Anaconda and a lot of the um, Miniconda things. So we didn't have to install matplotlib um, or numpy, whatever. That all came over with it. Um, so now this is a requirements file. And you'll see in here, it has Boto3, which is what you need to run in AWS. Uh, and the ones that we had 
brought in were Welly. Box where not the three Welly, just Welly. So you can see it brought that in. Um, Welly is a wrapper for last IO. So if we look for that, last IO is also here. So we can save this file, and then you can basically share this file with someone and this file plus this command will make sure that they have all of the dependencies and notebooks that they need in order to run um, whatever's below. The nice thing about using the suppression here for the, um, the tag with Q is that anything that is already installed, um, it will just skip over and go on. What I did here is just a list of the modules, which is a means it will install the most current version um, for those. You can see on this requirements file, it actually shows, since I froze, this is what I'm using right now. So it um, can give specific version numbers. So if you need to do any kind of version control um, on dependencies, you can do that here. Like in requirements, you could say, I want, let's see what version of Welly we're running. Um, I can change that to version eight. Save that. And now when it runs, it's going to import the version for version eight. Um, so that is how we can use the requirements file uh, in SageMaker to make sure that everyone has the same libraries um, to installed for their, their environment.